Hello student, let us talk about the derivation for Levis equation of beam strength. For deriving Levis equation, we consider the gear tooth as cantilever beam. The figure shows B is the width of the gear tooth, H is the height of the gear tooth, and PT is the tangential load acting on gear tooth. Now let's talk about the assumptions made for Levis equation. The first is the effect of the radial component that is PR or FR which induces compressive stress is neglected. Second assumption, it is assumed that the tangential component PT or FT is uniformly distributed over the face width of the gear. This is possible when the gears are rigid and accurately machined. Third assumption, the effect of stress concentration is neglected. Fourth assumption, it is assumed that at any time only one pair of teeth is in contact and takes the total load. Now if you can see the adjoining figure and take a section at xx then by flexural formula sigma b is given as the ratio of m by i multiplied by y where m is given as the moment ft multiplied by h the moment of inertia i is given as bt cube by 12 and the distance from the neutral axis that is y is considered as t by 2 by putting all this value in the above equation, we get the value of sigma b as ft into h divided by bt cube by 12 multiplied by t by 2. So thus, I get the value of ft as sigma b into bt square upon 6h. If I divide and multiply by m, that is module, so I get ft as sigma b into b multiplied by m into t square divided by 6 m h. The factor t square upon 6 m h was found to be constant and was named as Levy's form factor and is represented by capital Y. As the tangential load ft increases, the bending stress induced increases, but every material has maximum permissible bending strength that is sigma b. So if we replace sigma b by mod of sigma b, then ft will become mod of ft and is called as beam strength. So I can write down fs as sigma b into b into m into capital Y. So I can define here the beam strength that is fs as it is the maximum load gear tooth can take without bending failure. Above equation is called as Levy's beam strength equation. Beam strength equation in the terms of circular pitch can be written as Fs is equal to sigma b into b into m into capital Y. And if I multiply and divide by pi to this equation, so then I can get Fs as sigma b into b multiplied by pi into m into capital Y by pi where I can write down capital Y by pi this ratio as small y. Therefore, Fs can be written as sigma b into b into pc that is circular pitch multiplied by small y. Now, the module of a gear based on the beam strength can be written as if I write down the equation for the torsional moment, it is written as mt is equal to ft multiplied by d by 2. So, mt can be written again as fs multiplied by d by 2. So, I get the value of fs as 2 into mt by d. Putting this values in the Levy's beam strength equation, I can get the value of fs as sigma b into b into m into y. So if I substitute the value of fs as 2mt by d, then I get the equation as 
टू एम टी बाई डी इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा बी इंटू बी इंटू एम इंटू कैपिटल वाई सो एम टी कैन बी रिटर्न एज सिग्मा बी इंटू बी इंटू एम इंटू वाई इंटू डी बाई टू सो इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड बाई एम दैट इज मॉड्यूल अगेन सो आई गेट एम टी एज सिग्मा बी इंटू बी बाय एम इंटू एम स्क्वेर इंटू कैपिटल वाई इंटू एम जेड बाई टू नाउ एम टी इज अगेन रिटर्न एज सिग्मा बी इंटू साय ऑफ एम मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एम क्यूब इंटू वाई इंटू वाई जेड बाई टू देर फर आई कैन राइट डाउन दिस होल इक्वेशन इन द टर्म्स ऑफ एम क्यूब नाउ एज टू एम टी अपॉन सिग्मा बी इंटू साय एम इंटू वाई जेड एंड इफ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस क्यूबिक इक्वेशन आई गेट द रूट ऑफ एम एज एम ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट टू सिक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय क्यूब रूट ऑफ एम टी अपॉन सिग्मा बी इंटू साय एम इंटू वाई इंटू जेड द सेम इक्वेशन इज गिवन इन पी एच जी डेटा बुक ऑन एट पॉइंट थर्टीन ए एंड दिस इक्वेशन विल बी यूटिलाइजिंग फॉर डिजाइनिंग द स्पर गियर थैंक यू